welcome to Seacliff Storytime in Brooklyn. We have the awesome, angelic Alice, who is going to be Cameraman Dan's assistant. And we have, of course, the marvelous, mighty Molly, who will be our reader. All right? Neighbors. Nice Poppleton used to be a city peg. He did city things. He took taxis. He jogged in the park. He went to museums. Then one day, Poppleton got tired of city life. He moved to a small house in a small town. Do you think it was Seacliff that he moved to? Maybe. It looks a little like Seacliff. It does. Poppleton, Poppleton's small house was charming. It had a little sun room where Poppleton took naps. It had lots and lots of shelves where Poppleton kept. It had a little garden of Poppleton planted corn. And it had Cherry Sue. Cherry Sue was Poppleton's new neighbor. Cherry Sue was very friendly. In the morning, she called out, You, Poppleton, would you like some oatmeal? So Poppleton had oatmeal with Cherry Sue. In the afternoons, she called out, You, Poppleton, would you like toast, a toasted cheese? So Poppleton had toasted cheese with, with Cherry Sue. At night she called out, Yoo-hoo, Poppleton, would you like spaghetti? So Poppleton had spaghetti with Cherry Sue. This went on day after day. At first it was fun, but not for long. Some mornings Poppleton did not want to he wanted to sleep. Some afternoons, Poppleton did not want toasted cheese. He wanted TV. Some nights, Poppleton did not want spaghetti. He wanted to practice playing his harmonica. But Cherry Sue kept calling, Yoo-hoo, Poppleton. One day when he was watering his lawn, Poppleton couldn't take it anymore. When Cherry Sue stuck her head, stuck her head out and said "Yoo-hoo," Poppleton soaked her with the hose. Oh no! Poppleton cried, cried Cherry Sue, dripping. Poppleton felt awful. She, he ran to get a towel for Cherry Sue. I'm sorry, Cherry Sue, said Poppleton. I just got so sick of toasted cheese and spaghetti and oatmeal. Sometimes I just like to be alone. You too, said Cherry Sue. I kept inviting you over because I didn't know how to stop inviting you over. I thought it would make hurt your feelings. Then Poppleton soaked himself with the hose. <laughs> they laughed and laughed. Poppleton and Cherry Sue were best friends from then on. Oh, what a great story. I love it. I love it. It's such a good story. And you can see how it would happen, can't you? That each didn't want to hurt the other's feelings. Well, talk about um, good neighbors and good friends. We have a wonderful, wonderful friend. Her name is Gloria. And we're, and we're going to sing. Happy birthday to Gloria. Her husband, George, I'm sure, has arranged an amazing celebration. And ours is going to be a tiny celebration. So, uh, what do you think? What kind of cake do you think um, Gloria might like? Vanilla or chocolate or what do you think? Maybe she could choose if she's watching this right now. But I would say it could be a mix of chocolate and vanilla. Half chocolate, half vanilla? Okay, very good. You agree, Alice? Half chocolate, half vanilla for Gloria? Okay, very good. Let's sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gloria. Happy birthday to you. I'd like to thank our assistant, Alice. Cameron and Dan's assistant, and of course, our marvelous, mighty reader, Molly. Thank you, Molly. Great job. 
And Dan, uh, cameraman Dan, thank you, thank you. And Ariel, your assistance was greatly appreciated. So remember, one, two, three, we love you all very, very much.